I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of 60 Seconds. There is a new DLC. It is called the Dolores DLC. You do everything as Dolores. No more Ted. It's a free DLC. So if you guys want to try it out, if you already own the game, you can just update your game and then the Dolores DLC will be there. I'm actually going to try it out right now because there's some new events and there's also a new item in the game. But I don't know if there's actually a new ending, but I'm going to try to beat the game using the new item. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. Okay, so when you're choosing your difficulty, there's a thing right here that shows Ted's face. <laughs> and now you can play as Dolores. I think I'm gonna go Fat Man. I don't wanna go Sarbama, because you never know. You know what? What am I talking about? Let's go Sarbama. Let's go big or go home. And I don't know if it's just me, but she seems faster. She seems faster than Ted, which makes sense, because Ted's a tub -lub, and Dolores, you know, she's kind of like a stick figure. But I don't know. You guys let me know. Does she look faster than Ted? Or does she look the same? Am I tripping balls? Maybe I'm tripping on the biggest, saggiest balls there is. But I got to hustle. I got to hustle. One more water. And get in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! yes! Okay. Kobe. So we're playing as Dolores. We got an achievement that said girl power. So let the Dolores DLC begin. Okay, so here's our shelter. It's not that good. It's not that bad. We got some good weapons. We got the map. We have a decent amount of water and food. We got the gas mask and lock. I think we're good. We don't have the Boy Scout book, though, so I don't know about that. What are the advantages of playing as Dolores? Like, wait, there's a new song. Is this new music? I think it is. It's like speaking to my soul. Like, it's soothing every muscle in my body, every fiber, you know? Like... It just makes me want to go deep, boys, today. What's that sound? A galloping horse. We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly, while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for some antique cup, but they'd got lost and they would be most grateful if we would let them check our map, provided we have one. Well, we do have a map, and we're going to let your eyeballs glance on it right now. This new song, it just, uh, it tickles my pickle. You know, it pickles my tickle. And what did these guys say? They seemed friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them luck in their guest. And they gave us a deck of cards. Cool. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna stop talking in that voice because it's hurting my throat. I am going to send Timmy, because he is the real motherfucking MVP, give him a gas mask, clasp our hands together, and we are going to wish our favorite ginger luck. Guys, you know what I just realized? I realized that I didn't even grab the new item. I was talking about, oh, I'm gonna grab the new item in the game, but I didn't even grab it. So what kind of person am I if I don't even get the item that is in the DLC? What? Like, what even is that, Jake? Come on, I should slap myself silly. All right, so we gotta find the new item in the game, which is right here, I think. This has gotta be the new item because I've never seen this in my life. What is this? It's a harmonica. So let's see what we can do with this new item because I was gonna try to get a new ending on that first run, but I realized I didn't grab the new item that's in this DLC. So let's see what this whole thing's about. Today was an exciting day for Ted. All of a sudden, he found car keys in his back pocket. Has he been sitting on them this whole time? Anyway, it got him reminiscing about his favorite automobile, and now he's worried about it being parked up for too long. Something tells us it's the least of its trouble at the moment, but Ted seems really eager to go out and turn the engine over. You know what? This is a new scenario. We're not gonna say no to it. We are gonna risk it all, and we are gonna go outside, because maybe there's some new items in there too. You never know. Let's see. He's gone. Ted's gone. He packed up and left. Since Ted doesn't remember where he last parked his car, this could take a while. Hopefully he's back soon with good news. Oh, okay, so he didn't leave. He just left to go find his car, so he's not fully gone. He's not 100% out the game. If the car still works, maybe we could all get out of here and drive somewhere safer? Ooh, maybe we can get a car ending. I like that. Okay, so I didn't even know that there could potentially be a new ending, but the fact that Ted is trying to find the car and maybe we can all get out of here, I like that. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to get Mary Jane to go outside because as you guys can see by her lovely face right there, she is sick. So maybe if she doesn't come back, you know, it doesn't even matter because she's going to die anyway from her sickness. If she comes back, wait, where's Timmy? Oh God. Where the hell did Timothy go? Hunger drove Timmy insane. You're driving me insane. Ted found something all right, but it wasn't his car. He stumbled upon a barbecue party at our neighbor's burned down lawn. We recognized some faces in the small crowd of partygoers, but they all looked a bit peculiar. Gas masks, goggles, spikes, and a lot of leather everywhere. Was this a costume party? Anyway, we found Ted passed out in a ditch near our shelter, smelling strongly of tomato and alcohol. So, tomato liquor? 
we got two cans of soup though and it says Dolores needs a doctor or at least pills it's now or never no hang in there Dolores Ted might come back I don't know if he's gonna come back but he might come back do not die on me Dolores please we need to get some new scenarios day 32 She's still with us. Hallelujah, Dolores. I love you so freaking much. And Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad has happened to her. Good. If she's not coming back, then I hope something bad happened to her. The end. Okay. So she died, I'm pretty sure. And we're never going to know what happened to Ted in his car. I want to try to get that ending again. So let's redo this and hopefully we can get some good luck. Okay, guys. So I'm trying to get back to that Ted with the car scenario. But I see something that I've never seen before. It says, sometimes a sudden urge to play an instrument takes over us. To create beautiful sounds to be shared with the world around us. To sing and play and have cute mutated animals come to our feet to listen. Like a post-apocalyptic Snow White. Shall we? Of course. We are going to play and we're just going to go. That's a horrible sound. What? The end? Nani? What happened? Oh, wait. I died from not eating food. You suck. Oh, my yeah, good God. Jackass. All right. Here we go again, guys. It's 34 days in, and I finally got another harmonica scenario. We have everybody fed and watered, so let's see what happens. Be careful what you wish for. After a few minutes of playing, a small group of mutated cockroaches jumped out of the cracks in our walls and started moving to the rhythm of the song. So, yeah. I think when you play the harmonica, the cockroaches, they love the sound of the harmonica. And they just try to live in the bunker. Wait a minute. It says the funky roaches haven't really left us. To be fair, they aren't causing that much trouble. They even seem relatively friendly and curious. Just this morning when we opened our eyes, we saw them standing in a perfect line right in front of us as if they're waiting for something. What are you waiting for, guys? Are they waiting for me to play the sweet sound of the harmonica again? Uh, yeah. I think they are because I don't see them anymore. We figure the roaches are craving more of our music, so we fulfilled their unspoken request. They started joyfully prancing around again, creating fun shapes on the floor. Then, all of a sudden, they left in one line. We thought the show was over, but they soon came back in a group, carrying supplies on their strong mutated backs. Looks like we made some new friends. Disgusting, mutated, radioactive friends. And we got one soup and one water. So the harmonica gets you one soup and one food, at least in this run. Let me give Timmy some of the good stuff, because he hasn't eaten in like 12 days. And a sleazy trader came by, but I can't give you anything, buddy. Sorry. Okay, guys, I've been actually playing this for a while. I'm on day freaking 61, Got so you this. guys know I've been playing this for a lengthy amount of time. I think this is a new scenario. It says, a coded note was left on our doorstep. It's all symbols and numbers, some sort of cipher that will need to be cracked before we can read the letter. Dolores seems eager for this challenge. However... It's hard to tell how long this could take her, and it could prove to be a waste of her time. Should she keep herself busy with it? Yes, she definitely should, because I'm 61 days in, I've been trying to find new scenarios, and this is definitely it, so let's see if she can crack the code. I mean, I know she's cracked out of her skull right now, wow. but hopefully she can decipher that code, and we can do what we need to do. Dolores instantly sat down with the code, and started working on it with a purpose. Let's hope the note is worth staying up all night. Dolores looks very tired already. Yeah, she does. And this is actually my last half of food so what i need to do i gotta prepare to scavenge and it took several days and a lot of silent cursing but dolores finally cracked the code yes impressive the note contains detailed directions for some secret location nearby but it also says dolores must show up alone she says she's willing to go but we can't help wondering whether it's some sort of trap should she risk it you know what i have nothing left to lose we are gonna just clasp our hands together and hopefully it's something good 66 days in and she's still gone we have dead ted and we have wandering timmy so let's see where she went despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through timmy is being very brave i don't give a shit about timmy dolores is on her way to the surface let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound okay day 67 enigma nice i got an achievement okay let's see what that was Dolores came back looking relaxed and carrying extra supplies. The note was written by her dear old friend Peggy, who now inhabits a shelter together with other work colleagues of Dolores. She claims it was some sort of secretary job from before she married Ted. It's weird how little we know about that time in her life. She's quite a private person, our dear Dolores, but clearly all these years ago, she made friendships for life. These supplies will surely prove useful. We got two water and we got two soup. Okay, we're definitely gonna survive this, but I wanna get some more new scenarios and there's more raiders outside, so we're gonna 
put the gun to their face and just go doop, 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 doop. So it's day 40 and I don't think I've ever read this one before. It says, mysterious sounds are coming from our radio, but they're hidden behind a ton of static. Do we want to tinker with it a bit and find the right frequency? It could be something important or it could be the opposite. Only one way to find out. I don't think I've ever gotten that before. And I'm looking to my left and there's an achievement. It says, not alone. If you play it, they will come. So I think I'm supposed to mess with the radio because that's the only way that I can come into contact with people. And it says, we managed to get a slightly cleaner signal after twisting some knobs and pressing some buttons. A female voice talked about being stranded in space. She said something about her crew members going insane and eating all the soup. This could be a prank or just a crazy person, but still, we wish we had a way to answer her. For now, we can only listen. And it actually says right here, it seems whoever it was, they met their end. After a series of terrifying screams, the radio fell silent. Just before that, a distressed woman recited her full name and address. She used to live in our town. Should we take a hike to her house and find out if she left anything of value? It's not like she will need it anytime soon, having just been swallowed whole by a bloodthirsty monster from outer space. At least that's what it sounded like. Sure. Let's click OK. Let's go see her house and see if she had anything there. And we got an achievement. Dawkins Residence. I didn't get the Not Alone achievement, but I got Dawkins Residence. The address led us to a small apartment nearby. Inside, we found work uniforms, several pairs of rollerblades, and some supplies. The whole place smelled of coffee, and the uniforms looked like ones a diner waitress would wear. Under a ton of coffee beans in the kitchen sink, we found a stack of papers and contracts with a company called Astro Citizen. Was this lady really sent to space? Who was she? We can ponder these questions while eating the tomato soup we took from her apartment. She didn't sound like she would need it anytime soon. And we got two cans of soup. Okay. So we're getting all these scenarios where we're getting food and water. Nothing really like item based. I think this one is new too. It says Mary Jane is restless and lonely. She really misses her music lessons and she would love to visit her high school again. It's a little further than Timmy's school, but it could be worth the trip. There could still be some supplies there. Or maybe she runs into some other kids. It's risky, of course, but it might not be the worst idea ever. So how about it? Should we go on a walk? I think we should. There's raiders right above the bunker, but as long as we have our guns and we have our kids as a meat shield and Mary Jane's gone, so no more meat shield Mary Jane! Mary Jane promised to be extra careful. Hopefully this little trip lifts her spirits. Okay, so this is kind of like the Ted with the car scenario. He left for a little bit, but that doesn't mean he's 100% gone. Mary Jane has her own scenario, so she's going to her old high school and hopefully she comes back. Oh, and actually she's back. Never mind. <laughs> She came back the next day. Mary Jane didn't find anything noteworthy in terms of supplies, but she did have a look at the school registry and found an address of her favorite music teacher. She now insists on paying him a visit. It's a nice older gentleman who might be in need of assistance in these tough times. It would be a pretty long walk and obviously not the safest. Should we agree to this? Yes, because we've been waiting for new scenarios. I've been going crazy, guys. I just want to see some new stuff. So let's see what happened. And why the hell is Timmy not here? What happened to good old Timothy? Hunger drove him insane? Well, fine. Get out of here, Timmy. We started to worry, but Mary Jane found her way back to the shelter. There was no reason to worry about her old teacher. One thing she neglected to tell us is that he is a hardened war vet. He is doing just fine for himself. He was very happy to see Mary Jane alive and shared some supplies with her. The trip really exhausted her, but at least her mood has improved. And we got one water and one soup. So yeah, all these scenarios have to do with getting a reward of water and soup. I like that. It helps you prolong the journey because a lot of times, especially when I'm playing on like Sarbama, you run out of food and water really quick. So it's good that this DLC added a lot of scenarios where the reward is water and food. Not just one or the other, it's both at the same time. Okay guys, but it's day 52, somebody is at the door. I think it's the military ending. So if I get a good ending, then I'm gonna end this episode here because I've been playing this for a long time and nobody's here? It was a prank? Come on, it's just a prank, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Really? I thought that was the end because I've been recording for two hours. Like I've been trying to get all the new scenarios for two hours and there's actually more that I haven't gotten. Like there's an event where like Dolores and Ted can go on a date. I definitely want to get that one. There's like character specific events. Like we did the Mary Jane one with her high school. We started the one with Ted and the car thing, but we didn't finish it. And I think there's one for Timmy as well. And we also need to get that not alone achievement where like you contact people from outer space, some shit like that. So I definitely want to do that in the next episode, but I'm actually just going to try to get an end right now so we can at least have a good ending in the 60 seconds video all right boys and girls we actually have another new scenario it says a young singer approached our shelter this morning encumbered by two different guitars a big backpack and a weird contraption holding up a harmonica in front of his face he asked for some supplies in exchange for a folk song or two do we want to share we can either give him water or we can give him food i have three bottles of water 
and I also have four cans of soup. So we are gonna give him the soup, obviously, and then he's gonna play us a song because that's just what he does. His songs brought tears to our eyes with good, talented Americans like that. Hopefully the times are a-changing for the better soon. The sound of his guitar kept blowing in the winds toward us as he was walking away. Our love for his music moved him so much, he even gifted us a working radio. What a great guy. What a stand-up guy that dude is. So we gave them water and food, and we are not getting rescued. Come on, it's 60 days in. Somebody come get the happy couple. Day 65, someone is at the door. We cannot hear what they're saying, but they have been banging on it like crazy. Well, stop banging on it, because I'm about to open the door, and let me see your pretty faces. The end. Let me see the military faces. Yes! Okay, so we got another ending. It's the basic military ending, but you know what? At least we got a good ending nonetheless. We actually still have some work to do with this Dolores DLC because it says we have to help Dolores and Ted leave the shelter for a radioactive date and other relationship events between family members, expansions to classic events, can you find all the new scenarios, five new achievements, 30 new events and expeditions, over 20 pages of new text, and a new music track that we already heard, and new sound effects and bug fixes, but there's still stuff that we haven't checked out in 60 seconds, so I'm actually gonna end this episode here, but if you want me to try to get that radioactive date, and all the character specific events, and me just trying to find all the new events in general, make sure you guys give this video one big Big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!